Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner's circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of What a Horse. With me, I still have Jerry Williams. Yes, sir. How's it going? Going on great. How are you doing since we got back from Tunica? I'm doing pretty good. I, don't I think feel like I'm doing a lot better than you are. I ain't never going back. I don't know what it was I walked into down there, but as soon as I smelled it, I started, well, you know, yeah. I started sneezing. And, it, and then I went to the doctor and I said, I don't know whether I've caught that bug or, or not, but uh, he said, I didn't have the flu and I didn't have coronavirus. But he said, you've got an infection, sinus in, in uh, you know, thing. They call just in the yeah. time. Mm -hmm. But res it's a respiratory inspection, infection. And I'm going to tell you, it's driving me nuts. I'm taking so much stuff from cough syrup to pills. Some of them you got to take with food. Anybody gets this, I feel sorry for you. You just got to be tough to be down in Mississippi, Jerry. Evidently. <laughs> but uh, they, they, they can have it in a three-card poker. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be, so that's it. You need to do what, what you do, and then we'll get busy. We'll be right back after these messages. I can reach one, so uh, get your catalog from me. You're sitting yourself in the rooms. Want everybody to know the rooms of the games we're here today? So, 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 champion in the amateur and open competition, four times amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> You know, Jerry, we got a lot coming up, Horse of the Year. Yes. Also, for all you people looking for them Christmas presents, I still got some jewelry. Okay. I got some nice pieces left, too. Sell a little, and then you wait, and then you sell a little bit more. Yes, sir. But uh, I know them blue ones are gone. I had a lady scarf them up so fast. I'm, I mean, she, she jerked them. She, <laughs> she got them. She was gone. And, Studs right there would make an outstanding present for somebody. Yes, that's some beautiful jewelry right there. Yep. Some of that stuff is just completely different than anything else that you're going to find. Uh, and it's just a matter of time. But it'll all be gone. Christmas is right, right around Christmas. It is right I around. normally sell the rest of it. 
and it'll get down to where every now and then might sell a few pieces. I know I'm working with Giles on coming up with some new stuff. Okay. And that's, that's going to be good. Well, the trainers are going to have horse of the year. And just so you know, there's one horse. When I was looking at all these, there's one horse in that list that's shown 15 or 16 times since 2000. And uh, 2020. Uh, yeah, 2020. Shown that many times as it has not been defeated. It ain't the one you're thinking about. So it ain't epic? No, it ain't epic. Oh, man. I knew what you were thinking it was going to be epic, yeah. but it ain't epic. It's, uh, and it, I looked at it. I mean, that horse has shown 45 times, I believe it is, in his career and won 30 some odd blue ribbons, man. world championships, world grand championships. I mean, it, it, it's amazing, but it's pretty good. And if a certain woman's watching right now, she probably knows exactly who it is. <laughs> but <laughs> we got the uh, Tweba meeting coming up. We got, we got a bash out at uh, Uncle Nearest. Only 100 people can get in out there. But it, it's going to be something. You probably yes. know all about that. Yes, it's, it'll be a pretty neat thing out there. Well, I know pretty they neat. said the restaurant was going to be was not going to be open to the public. They would have a wet bar, but uh, and I'm assuming they're going to serve hors d'oeuvres or something. But it, it's more or less just a, a gathering from what I yes what I can see. Maybe we'll get over there and do some interviews. I'd like to see people's perspective on the way the industry's going. going. Yeah, I mean it's a. I know there's a lot of people calling asking questions, and I'm referring them to two people. Because they can answer the questions that I can't. When I want, when I have a question, that's who I call. We so. ask the question twice. We ask them before they start drinking, then we ask them again after they get through drinking. That, that might not be too good. <laughs> <laughs> we we might get some wild ones. Yeah. All right. I guess we got some video coming up. So if we're ready, let's hit it. This is your fall classic. Amateur two-year-old Marin Gilding class. You know, this was a good class. Now, we've shown these victory passes, but we did not show the class. I wanted to go back and let people see the, the class. In this particular class, Harlan Darlin won. But there's some other real good two-year-olds in there. You had Miss Choo Choo and Pam Beth was in there. A Dixie Lady, Casey Slagle, or Cassie Slagle, I'm sorry. Jose and the Pussycats, Jamie Chapman. Tijuana Telsa, Virginia Flame, La Flame, and the Joyride, Anne Marie Couch. Finished out the ribbons in this class. But right there was your winner. I can't wait to see these horses this next year in the three-year-old division. Oh, 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 oh boy. You know, they're doing this good right now. That's the Anne Marie Couch. I'm going to tell you, that's going to be a good horse. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a lot of these really stand out next year. I guarantee you that one will that Pam's on. Yep. You give Jimmy McConnell a little time to work on a horse. Oh, yeah. He's, he's a mastermind. Yeah. Well, he'll figure it out. That's for sure. Like a chess set when you're dealing with a horse. Yes. Harlan Darling and Dahlia Smith Har for Renee Smith. Amateur two year old Marion Gildin winner. <coughs> I like to see these horses like this horse, these horse two year old. We can't wait for the videos next year. Watch them. Watch turn three year. Watch them mature. Yeah. You're right here, there's Mares and Gilding class. Jose Solid Pusher was the winner with Jimmy McConnell in the saddle for Wayne and Debbie Simon. But Power Strokes Evening Star and Bill Calloway was a good one. Harley Quinn and Dan Waddell for Beth Collins. Top Shelf Toddy, Chad Way for S&P LLC. Pride of Oopsie Doo, Blaze Picard. Leavenworth, Tyler Balcom. Good Time. BKT, Brock Tillman, and Bella Rio, 
Knox Blackburn from Anne Marie Couch. But I'm going to tell you, I've got a lot of phone calls about this solid Jose Solid Pusher because he is for sale. Yeah. And I'm, I told people, I said, call Jimmy. Jimmy will take care of you. I'm just hoping once he does sell, and it looks like he's going to, that they'll give me a holler, and I won't tell them he's for sale no more. Someone's done. Took him home. Yeah. You know, we had a good fall classic and turned around and went to Mississippi and had another good show. Yep. They had some good shows back to back. Yes, they did. This is a class full of good horses right here. Yes, it is. I mean, you, you, got, you got some great horses oh, yeah. out here and people don't realize you can buy you a Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five thousand dollar horse now, oh, yeah. and, and go to some of these shows and compete. Uh huh. Cause, can. Well, them fifteen and twenty, twenty-five thousand dollar horses used to be fifty, sixty thousand. Yeah. Here's Jose Solid Pusher and Jimmy McCone for Wayne and Debbie Simons. I tell you what, that's a that's a good horse. That is. And their asking price is is not that bad. Yeah. I mean, it's a good buy on that horse. We have flat shots that have sold for more than they're asking yeah. for that one. Now Zaro Jr. It wasn't a big class, but he he put a well of a show on now. I thought I thought he was outstanding myself. That's a nice horse. It is. It's it gonna is get nice better. Horse. Yep. Beth may end up on him. I mean, sure enough. He can flat walk. And he's a beautiful yep. animal, too. All right, here's your show pleasure amateur. What can I say? Georgia, Florida line, and Robert Dolch took the blue. The Nightcrawler, Sister Milligan. Stretch your dollar, Lucky Collins. Evan Williams, Black Label, Jacob West, a line of honor, Sherry Pittman, Sky Black, Allison Armstrong, Tennessee State Line, Jacob Baum, and Black Line, Courtney Tyra, finished out the ribbons. Is, that was a good class here, too. I tell you what, they had a, a lot of caliber horses. I mean, some classes were slim. Yeah. But now some of them, we're, we're packed with some pretty fine stock. Look this there on the rail. That, that was that sky black on the rail. Yeah. That horse ended, ended up fifth or sixth. Ended up sixth. Some of these horses is going on vacation this winter. I picked up a stretchy dollar the other day and pulled the shoes off of him and let him let relax. Him run let him run around. <laughs> That just means Jake Duke, or Jeff Duke, Jake Duke. Jeff Duke will have a lot to do yeah. this, this uh, spring. Look at this guy in black there. Yeah, that's a good horse. I mean, Lord, I'm in that class full of good horses. Sometimes I would not want to be a judge. I really would. It's wouldn't. hard, I've, I'm, you know, there's your winner, Georgia, Florida Line, and Robert Dorch. <laughs> you know what I think I've been a judge, you ain't gonna make them one person happy. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. Dave Williams said one time if he was judging the lead line, he'd uh, pick Justin Janae's boy. Because then you make two kids happy. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> That's right. All right, two-year-old stallions. What can I say? The Bob Adcock just goes, keeps going out and finding yeah. them. He's got a secret somewhere. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna have to find out. 
Top Gun Maverick and Bill Calloway took the blue for Bob Adcock. Burbank, Tyler Balkum, Dr. Mar Barbara Morse, Charles Lindbergh, Winky Groover, Keith and Angela Hayes, Jose Zavanna Knight, R.M. Kelly for Howard Eastridge family. Jose Silver Legend, Dan Waddell, Chills Hard Cash, Sam Martin, Dale Ye, yeah, Dale Ye, that's the name. Blaze Picard for Dudley Logan. In the real world, Jerry Beatty for Chris Coates. In the real world. You know, we're talking about next week we're going to do Horse of the Year. Yeah. Horse of the Year is a little bit different than anything else. Yeah. I, that's why I went and I looked. If I was voting, I would have to go and get all the results. But there's Top Gun Maverick and Bill Calloway for Bob, Bob Adcock, your two-year-old stallion winner. Well, Bob's enjoying that. Oh, yeah. But I would have to go look at the record look at where they showed, look how many was in the class, yeah. what type of competition they were against, and then I would vote accordingly. Yes. Because we have some that have shown a lot, and we have shown some that have shown a little. Mm -hmm. But that, that's the way I would do it, and that's the way I'm going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, but I don't have a vote. You do. <laughs> All righty. you got to do your thing. We'll be I right believe. back after these messages. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now, for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communication. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All right, we're back and we're getting ready to, uh, well, we're going to show some more of the classic because we, we had so many victory passes that we did. Normally, I don't overdo it but I did too many and I shouldn't have so we didn't have enough time for video but today we do so here we go youth ponies now right here is a good one yeah this is a good class it, this is a real good class and I'm going to tell you people need to look at that pony class especially for horse of the year because yeah. it, it, it to me it's kind of tied in there. I am big enough, and Maxine Beasley took the blues for Beth Beasley. I like Jen, Caroline Stanley for Parker, Paula Parker. I'm Tebow, Skyland Wilson for Jack Wilson. I tell you what, I like that name, I'm Tebow. Yeah. I do. But you know when, when you when you hitting these horses and you're and you're picking your favorite, everybody's got their favorite. Yeah. I mean I'm a big fan of several stud horses that show, and I'd love to see them in there together. Even though I like one as much as I do the other, I still like to watch them compete. But when you're when you're voting, it's kind of like voting for the most valuable player. Yeah. Now, was that player 
good against good players, good teams? Yeah. Or was it better or good against just the lower class team? Yeah. Same thing with this. Did she did one horse beat good horses all the time or did they pick and choose? Yeah. So Tell you what, that's a nice horse right there, and he's consistent oh, yeah. as you can get. Well, you know, another thing on that, too, is like you're saying, but how many times that horse showed this year? That's like that horse, that big enough horse. Yeah. He showed a show, bunch. He showed a bunch. When? Now, he should be in the running for. Well, he for is. That. He's one of them. He, yeah, he's that's one what I'm of saying. the four. But he, now, he, what I'm saying is, but now you look, this horse showed a whole bunch. Oh, he showed a bunch of times now. A bunch of times. Not this just this year, but a bunch of years. He showed 15 times this year. That's what I'm saying. That's a fact now. Showed 15 times. Not every horse can do that. And that's a sign. Yeah. That's a good sign of the trainer. Yeah. The horse. The people taking care of the oh, horses. That's right. Now that's that's in their favor. Here's your park performance. Praise and honor, and Jeff Lachlan took the blue in this class. Hello, handsome, Ryan Gannon. Mayor Bill, Dan Waddell. That, that's for George and Kim Lewis, boy. That, yeah. That's a fine couple right there. The Sky Coach, Jeremy Jensen for Leanne Harrison. Hellcat, Blaze Picard for Duke Ingram, and a Royal Dixie, Jamie Thompson for Moran and Brassy. It's a good class right it here. Is a good class. This class right here will do one. It, it can take a horse that's mediocre in your performance, padded yeah. performance classes. You lower him down to this, and he may not have that great big lick and all that, but he's got a perfect walking yeah. lick. And that's what this is all about. Oh, yeah. It ain't about how high you step. It's about what that back end looks like. Yeah. That front end, that head shake. Cause I don't, I, I don't care for a walking horse that doesn't have a head shake. No. I mean, it, if they don't shake that head, they ain't walking. And right there is your winner. I tell you what, Doris Pen Pennick is a peach. Yeah. You ever talk to her? No, I ain't never really. I, I talk to her and her husband every time they come up because they just, they are fine people. And I mean, you couldn't ask for any nicer people than those two. That's Vicki Penick's mother and dad. Okay. Right here's amateur 50 and over. Unreal and Dr. Baum won won the class, but Mr. Four Real, I thought I thought yeah. that horse right there made. In, in all honesty, I thought he made the best show, and I am an Unreal fan, but I, I really thought that 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 horse did it. Yeah. The American Mobster and Linda Shribner was third. It's high maintenance. Sister Milligan fourth. Siesta Lviv and Bart Mc. Waters fifth and the Night King Jeff Smith finished out the ribbons. But that Mr. For Real, he's an outstanding horse. That is a nice horse. That horse stays consistent. Well, he's consistent. Yeah. It's all good. That's good. Got a good back end, got a good front yeah. end, got a good head shake. I mean, he, he just, he, he does what he's supposed to.
I was born on a pretty nice horse. Yes. There's a bunch of good horses yeah. in there now. I mean, you you can't knock any of them horses. And that one that yeah. Paul's on, I, I just like him. He just uh, gets it done. Sister's on a good, good horse. Yep. So is Linda. I mean, when you look in, look at them, you got a bunch of good horses yeah. in there. Right there he is, Mr. For Real and Paul Simmons. For Paul Simmons. I'm waiting to see what happens when his wife starts showing and he says she wants to, and they end up in the same class. <laughs> Or they may do that am am together. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then the question is, who's going to go first? Mm -hmm. Two-year-old mares and gildings. This is another horse that's in for the running. The winner of this class, the Char Queen and John Allen Callaway for Beth Beasley took the blue. I am Shady. Tyler Balkum for Dr. Barbara Morse. I'm on the honor roll, Jimmy McConnell, Doug Choir, Jose's Hell of a View, Chad Way, Tommy and Nancy Mills, Jen in Hills, Knox Blackman, Dale Steismith, Bad Man Jose, Thomas Derrickson for Jill Derrickson, Miss Charlie Joe, Clay Sanderson, Hickok and Corbett, and Senorita Gno, Dan Waddell for Larry and Linda Few. Senorita Gno. You know. You know, you know, don't you? Yeah, you know. You know. <laughs> this class here is a nice class. I tell you what, the last two weeks of the of the season, we we attended two great shows with good horses at both of them, and you would have thought, yeah, one of them would have been a letdown, but it wasn't. Now we have some classes that didn't have much in it. Yeah. But from top to bottom, we had good horses in every class. Something yep. the industry can be proud of. You know, in this class right here, I see <coughs> Thomas Derrickson that's in here. And I'm going to tell you, he's doing a real good job. He is. He's doing a good job over breeders from what yep. I hear. He, he's doing a good job. He, I see, you know, another young gun, young horse trainer coming up. Right there it is, Shark Queen and John Allen Calloway for Beth Beasley. I like that mare now, I'm gonna tell you. Yes. But you get, she's got it all. And again, I'm talking about head shape, back end, front end, steps and reaches, timed up pretty good. I mean, shoot, what more can you ask for? All right, amateur novice. Now we'll say this, I disagreed 100% with the tie on this one. The Lone Star legend took the blue with Ch Chase and Joseph. But in my book, title defense and Samantha Green cleaned the clock. It was outstanding. Harley Quinn, Beth Collins was right in there with Samantha Green, buddy. Yes. That, those were the two that I thought was battling it out. Lightning in a bottle, Robbie Castile. Master of Design, Gabriel Humiston. A Lady's Honor, Eric Sinset. Nine Carat Diamond, Dr. Brittany Baum. I'm resurrected, Amy McCurdy finished out the ribbon. But I thought the whole time I kept watching Harley Quinn in title defense. And I was standing there with another guy that's very knowledgeable about horses, and he said, they're in there by themselves. Yeah. And I really believe that. However, that might be why I ain't judging. <laughs> Look there. Oh, I do it so easy, nice. I, I know. But I'm going to tell you, this Lone Star Legend's a great horse. Yeah. Now he is. Uh -huh. and, and in his defense, that's the first time he showed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
It's a ring full of good horses. Yeah. I mean, I didn't see any, any bad horses. Yeah. There he is, title defense in Samantha Green for Evergreen Walking Horse Farm. She was reserved, but I would have gave her a solid first. And I'd be, had Harley Quinn reserve. And if I did anything, it would be flipping. Yeah. So they were both outstanding. That's a nice horse. I'll tell you what. Best the is a good horse, too. Amateur, 15, two and under. Command on parole, and Cheryl Crawford took the blue. A kingpin, and Bob Adcock was reserved. Wakanda, Miles Irby, for Rick Marla Lovett. Charlie's Phantom, Peggy Mervine, Curly Bill. Michelle Slapton, Walkabout Charlie Kim Arnold, and a shady character, Paige Porter, finished out the ribbons. And I kind of like that second place horse. Yeah. <coughs> I tell you what. Hey, Mervine there, she ain't doing bad herself. No. But see, this is another example of a good class. They should start a fan of the year, too, award. No, oh, I'd give fan <laughs> favorites. We do fan favorites all the time. Robert Dorch, if he really likes the way his horse looks, he'll call you and say, run me a fan favorite. No, I'm like talking it. about the fan that's the, the cheering, the, the yeah. cheering the crowd. Well, there's a couple of ladies I'd have to get in on that, yeah. buddy. <laughs> they, they get out there, and I mean, they shoot. Candy Green? Oh, yeah. You can hear her over everybody. That's not an insult, Candy. There was a group of ladies up there one night screaming for one horse. I said, I'll tell y'all one thing. If I ever do show, I want y'all in my corner. That's right. That's a nice horse right there. Oh, yeah. Uh, King Penn and Bob Adcock, he was reserved. I'll tell you what, I like him. I like Bob, he got some good horses. He got some real. i tell you what I like a lot horses. about most of him. He, they've got that flat walk. Yeah. And then they step up into a running walk. We got too many that do the same. Year all the it, time. It's not a slow walk and it's not a high walk. It's right in between. But, I mean, that's what they do the whole way. Can't see the difference in between them. Yep. Youth 11 and under. I'll tell you what, I'll take one horse in this class to give you the field. All righty. Cole Hahn and Allie Joe Jacobs, one to blue. Dixie Rita and Leanne Bell. Yeah, that, that, that young lady can flat ride. Yeah. Don't think she can. Tito's, Caroline Stanley. Ignite the night, Jansen Wilson. Pride of Oopsie Doo, Benley Boyce. National Hero, D Dylan Jackson. And Ripped Big Dipper, Elena Arnold finished out the ribbons. This is gonna be a heated competition oh, yeah. in the, because you've got some, some of these 11 and unders that shown a lot. Some of them shown a little. Some of them shown in, one of them shown in the hotbed. One of them did come to the hotbed and show. So it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be very interesting on uh, how they tie it or how they vote. One thing for sure, it's four great horses. Oh yeah, it yeah, is. That's a fact. Four real good horses. I 
tell you what, I'm, I'm not sure. I'd like to find out who that is I hear keep hearing in the background. Because she's cheering for a whole Cole lot of horses. Horse. That's right. Cole Hahn and Allie Joe Jacobs. Far Allie Joe Jacobs, your youth 11 and under winner. Amateur three-year-old stallions. We're gonna get right on this one, Jerry. Born a Maverick and Bob Adcock took yes. the blue. Primo and Carolyn Lackey was reserve. Voyager, Paul Simmons, Hardy, Lucky Collins, Heads Up Jose, Libby Dowd. In the Dixie Outlaw, Shaw Johnson finished out the ribbon. Oh, Voyager look good right there. Oh, oh Lord, yeah. Tell you what now, he, Paul's got a, a lineup of just some real, yeah. real good horses. That horse right there is the horse now. I'd like that. Well, I can talk about him all the time, but he, uh, I've not seen him have a bad show. I've seen him coming in and flat walking. Yeah. The one that Paul's on, you can't say nothing about him either because he is just one fine horse. But you know that horse Mr. Bob on right there? Yeah. It's, I've seen him as a, as a, Started coming two years old and all the way up, and he just kept getting better and better. Yeah. He's gonna be a heck of a stake horse now. They can watch him. I seen that horse Tony Palomino started him. And I seen him at the Coke preview. Mm -hmm. He showed him through the air, and I mean, wall wasn't broke all the way, but uh, you can see the talent in him. Well, that's the main thing is when you see one and you can see him keep improving. Yeah. More and more. That's what matters. Now this right here. This, this this was some kind of class, buddy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Your grooms and farriers. Right there, my boy. They should mm -hmm. have more classes like this here. Yeah, it'd be nice. Yeah. Jen's not kidding, and Johnny Whitlow, Whitrow won the class. Well-armed American, James Abernathy. Leavenworth, William Keith. My poker face, Joseph Abernathy. Midnight at Dixie, Scott Stillwell. And on the sly, Jesse Croslin finished out the ribbon. I didn't I didn't think Jesse won the class, but I did think he was a whole lot better in that last place. Yeah. Flying Jesse Crawford, and yes, that's my horse. I thought he made a good show. Oh, himself. he did. Both of them did. And that's the first time Jesse's ever been in the ring Three. on the performance oh, horse. Performance horse, yep. That's what that class is for all about. You know, you got some of them. That showed in that class and showed in other other classes. You had about three or four yeah. that actually groomed that showed that, that's the only time they get to show. Well, it ought to be that way. Yeah. That if just the grooms, if you if you've shown in other classes, you shouldn't be in the grooms yeah. class. Here's your amateur four-year-old stallions. Now this one right here, it was tough all yeah. the way. Patrick Mahomes and. Paul Simmons took the blue, or Paul Simmons took the blue. Far Paul and Terry Manier. Honored in Texas, Bob Adcock was reserved. Juris, Jeff Smith. Mossberg, Randy Stone. I am Gunsmoke, Bart McWaters. And stalking, 
Jordan Eldridge finished out the ribbon. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I like that name Mossberg. He must be a hunter. <laughs> Shotgun Alley. Tell you what now. These two top horses in that class are real top horses. You better believe it. Paul Simmons can flat ride. Yeah. Now he's a good rider. No doubt about it. A little horse right there is a nice horse. Kind of a little portion of him because, you know, breaking wise, I was kind of involved in breaking him. Mm -hmm. and starting. Well, you did a good job, is all I can say, because he is nice. Paul can get it done, too, because he knows how to handle Terry and Paul on that situation. And here's Hunter in Texas and Bob horse. Adcock. Hey. That's a real nice horse. Another good one. Yep. Just like you were saying, the horses of the year. And when you show in a class like this here, you, you, you showing you, you showing, showing in competition. You showing competition. You ain't a college team playing against a bunch of high schools. You know, everybody playing on the Man. same playing field. That's it. Well it's I'll tell you what, it's a little different when you, if you get off just a whole pack of good ones in there. Yeah. It makes it a whole lot more fun. <coughs> Show pleasure amateur. I'm Coach Cal. I'm gonna say this. That's the best I've seen her show that horse. Yeah. Yeah, he was. I mean, she had him tuned in and doing just everything she wanted. She was, it was good. I'm Coach Cal and Allie Joe took the blue. Well-armed American, Reese Abernathy. I'm a Dixie Diva, and marie Beard. My Texas Tornado, Maddox Wickenburg. My name's Jose, Georgia Hazelwood. Finished American Titleist. Ignite the Night in Fabio. Finished out the ribbons, but I'm gonna tell you, I, I was awfully proud of Allie Joe. That was real good. I right thought there. she I thought she yeah. did very well. Very well. Her daddy was tickled, I know that. Park Pleasure. I've liked this horse that won this class for a long time. A, he's a Dixieland delight. And Jeff Lachlan for Vicky Pinnock. Olympic Aftershock, Jamie Johnson. Thompson, I'm sorry, for Brassian Thompson. Jazzanova, Pancho Alvarez for Hunter Head. Prince of the Wrist, Justin Harris for Jeff Brombob. Probably messed that name up. that if he's on one never shook his head. <laughs> I'm gonna ask him sometime. Yeah. Open ponies. Bill come out smoking in this one. Oh yeah. The country lineman and Bill Calloway for Beth Beasley took the blue. I'm busting loose. Blaze Picard for Kelly Duchelle. Dreamcatcher Santana. Winky Groover for Brian and Tanya Strickland. Our girl Charlie Tyler Balkum for Caitlin Peeler. And Jens. I made up something I can't pronounce that. Mike Overcast. But I'm going to tell you, the country lineman and I'm busting loose, those are two good horses. Oh, yeah. Real good horses. But now, Bill has the country lineman. Uh, hitting on all four cylinders. Plus the fact they've uh, they've got a uh, plans for him. That's a nice horse. One of those girls is fixing to get him. I'm telling you, the juvenile class is finna step up in real big competition. Sure. We got a bunch of competition in now. We got a bunch, and they just keep getting better. Yeah. 
The country lineman and Bill Calloway for Beth Beasley. Wonder which one's going to end up. Maxine's got I'm big yeah. enough. So we might be watching BB on this one. This, yeah. I don't care which one it is, they can handle it. It's it's a good horse that they're going to be oh, riding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take, yep. I'm going to tell you what. Beth has got them girls some good oh, horses. Oh, yeah. She's got some good horses. And, and the competition in, in that age bracket, plus the Lebanon under age bracket now. Oh, it's, all it's, juvenile horses from Lebanon under 12 to 17. I mean, there's some good horses in that class, yeah. real good horses. Well, I'll tell you what, Jerry. We better take another commercial break because we still got some video we got to go through. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll be do right it. back <laughs> after these messages. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Subaru and see what being number one is all about. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, Ride in apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to Winter Circle and tell them what a horse sent you. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. I think we got a couple more classes from the classic, and then we're going to show our victory passes from uh, Tunica. I believe that's right. So let's get started. Get them done. Right there, minor ordeal in Tyler Malcolm for Mona Dean. I tell you what, this horse right here is in the stud barn at yes. Sugar Creek right now. He's a good one. That's, that, that's one of my favorite horses. Oh, yeah. Uh, he really nice is. He's the one that opened everybody's eyes. He's just a great horse. A really great horse. Youth Championship. Now, this one right here was a knockdown drag out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nevermore took the blue. A Super Bowl MVP was reserved, cheating on Charlie. Honor and obey. Pushing JFK all over. Jose the champ. Jose's Ritzy Hawk. Pride of Oopsie Doo. Boy, that horse shows a lot. Mm -hmm. Pink Panther. And my poker face. JC Booth finished out the ribbon. Tell you what, this was put a bunch of good horses in there. Oh, yeah. Them kids love, love it when they sit there and they call them in one at oh, a time. Yes, they do.
Super Bowl MVP, and B.B. Beasley was reserved. She made a whale of a show. I mean a good show. And I believe she might just be the one who ends up on big enough, or not big enough, but the country lineman. Uh -huh. Both of the little girls can flat ride. One of them more laid back, yeah. and the other's more aggressive, aggressive. But they mm -hmm. can flat ride, and oh, that's yeah, the main ride. thing. They can ride horses. All righty, now we're going to do our tunica BPs. What we still owe, and uh, then we're going to be out of here. Right there, slim and hot, Robert Dortch for Robert Dortch. Now this was a fan favorite. This was one that. Robert was tickled with the way the yeah. horse was the first time he rode him in, a, in the ring. So he said, I want to do a fan favorite on him. That's a nice yeah. horse. Well, that, that's one thing Robert knows that he can go back and look at this video oh, anytime yeah. he wants to oh, and yeah. he loves it. Right there's Jake, Jose, it ain't so, and Jake Jacob, your canter class winner. He made a well of a show. Yep. Tell you what, Jeff's a good jockey. Jake, yeah. Right there, El Hombre in black and Jake Jacobs. Jimmy McConnell's high on this horse. Yeah. He told me, he said, that horse, he said he was just behind some, but he is catching up quick and he gets better all the time. Up tight, Jose. Amateur Marion Gildon That's winner nice and Bruce McDonald. Yep, a super nice horse. Super nice. <coughs> I got to talk to Robin when she was up there at the horse show. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't get to see her. Yeah, she's a real sweet lady. You Bruce can't is beat real, yeah, you can't beat Bruce can't. either. I mean, he's a nice guy. Both of those just like out of the same pod, you yeah. know what I mean? Right there, Cole Hahn, your lemon underwinner. Halle Joe Jacobs. Halle Joe does a good job. Oh, yeah. Could you imagine seeing her in another 10 or 15 years from now? Oh, Lord. Well, we've watched a bunch of them grow up in this. Yeah. We watched Allison Thorson grow up. Yeah. Here's Co I'm Coach Cal and Allie Joe. You show pleasure reserve winner. And you you look at it this ride yeah. and the one at the other event, and there's there's a difference yeah. in there. But she still rides yeah. well, very well. She sits up on a horse too, and that's what I like. I oh, like yeah. to see a, a young well, rider. Well, he ain't gonna have it no other way. Honors image and Tanner Burks for Shane Porterfield. Tell you what, this is a good horse right yes. here. Mm -hmm. He won a good class. Right there, first night out in Alley Joe Jack. I'm gonna say this. She did fantastic on this horse oh, right yeah. here. A lot of people don't look at it the way I look at it and, and watch it because every now and then you'll have some of his horses that they'll gain a step or whatever. But now that horse right there walked the whole time. The well, second place horse got a little steppy. I'd have placed the third place horse myself, the second. 
the, all three of the top three there were, I mean, getting their job done. Well, this horse doing what he's supposed to do is country pleasure classes. Yeah. Country is pleasure to ride. You know what I'm talking about? That's it. Something if you're gonna take out there on trail ride and ride it all day, you ride that. That's it. And it can last all day doing that. Right here, honor and remember and Dan Waddell for Kim Lewis. That's Dan's baby right there. He loves that horse. I tell you what, I can that's, understand why. That's a good horse. And he and he keeps getting even better. Yeah. And that's one of the things people that post about him. That's one of the things they say. He gets better every time they yeah. see him. Real and nice he does. Horse. And here she is, Megan Hammond on Epic. But that is another horse that ain't been beat. Oh yeah, you? I know. Since, since 2020, I believe yeah. it was. Might have been 20. I need to look that up. But it one good horse. I, I don't care he what anybody says. One more time he's been beat. Do what? He did one more time than he been beat. No, you better believe that. <laughs> A lot more. Yeah. You know, once they took that tail brace off him, he, he just, I mean, bam. Yeah. And he was good with the tail, tail brace. brace. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, he won a world championship with yeah. that tail brace on it. So, but she did outstanding. That's just a, that was a great show that down is, there. That is it really was. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know me and you were traveling. Yep. But it, it, when you look at the classes and you look at the video, it's a great show. Oh, it was a good show. It was a great well, show. Next week, we're going to do Horse of the Year, so I'm going to do something. If you want us to talk about the class you've got a horse in, email me, jerry at whatahorse.com, and I'll make sure that's one of the classes we go on. But now you'll have to do this. Email us and let us know by Sunday. Because once we start editing, CJ don't back up. <laughs> he, he doesn't look around. Yeah. He, he just... No, you go in there and he's at that computer and you don't mess with him. If you do, he be he might mess up. Mess up. <laughs> but he'll tell you. But he said, "I'm working. I'm getting this done. Yeah. Leave me alone. If you'll leave me alone, I'll finish it." <laughs> so, but appreciate you coming over. Thank you. Thank you. Another. Tell great everybody week. bye. I see y'all later. Y'all have a good weekend. <laughs> Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, What a horse! I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm gonna be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.